Hey guys, this is Hawkeye. I'm back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator and we are here at St. Zeno's Lakes. And as you pop in, you're going to pop in right here on this particular map. Let me give you a look-see here. And what you want to do is you just want to walk straight forward. But what I'm going to show you guys is this is probably the first place to really fish heavily if you want to make a lot of money. And that's something you kind of have to do if you want to get further where you can do some steep sea fishing and have the money to get the gear to be able to make that happen. The reason I like to come here is because there's a lot of big fish out here. And these fish are mirror carp and grass carp. And they bring in a lot of cash, each one of them. You got to have a little bit bigger gear to get them. But if you're patient enough, you can bring them in. And I would suggest at least having two feet of rods in. I usually also float fish for a couple of them as well. So we're going to go ahead and get these set up here. Let me go ahead and put my rod pod down here. And we're going to toss this out there where these guys are. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my other feeder rod here. Now I've got on both of these rods I've got green peas and corn and I've also on this one I have a uh, sweet coriander uh, feeder bait as well to attract them or attractant. And there's a lot of different kinds that you can use that attract the uh, carp and grass carp. This one happens to attract both grass carp and mirror carp so hopefully and bream as well by the way so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that one out as well and we're gonna get our float rod out as you can see I've got it set up in the same manner now I'm a little unsure about the hook size I did go up a little bit on the hook size this may be a little big so I might have to go down to a 4-aught or 3-aught just in case because that's what's on the other rods. But I have been doing pretty well getting these guys. There they are. There's one right there. And some of them have been like 40 pounds or more and bringing in about $300 each. So if you got a little bit of time to mess with this and just sit and be patient, you're going to bring in quite a bit of cash. Yeah, the spin casting I've been told is kind of tough to do. Um, been doing it, but I mean for certain species, especially for the sea species, they keep telling me it's tough. Whoop, looks like i got an interested party already here. Don't think I have to change my hook size. But he is he's big okay he's pretty big yep and we're gonna have to play him a little bit yeah we gotta try not to let him go over 200 or 300 feet because that will be the extent of your line and he'll get off the hook I'm gonna put the tension up a little bit if I can just get him turned around He is there, maybe, almost, almost, come on. Ooh, he's getting close to 300 feet here. Let's try to see if we can't, there we go. That was a little close. I thought he was going to break that 300 barrier, but as you can see, there's plenty of these guys out there. And just take your time. Bring him in slowly. He will get more and more tired as he goes. There we go. Now we got to watch that tension though. This is a pretty good sized fish, so... Don't want to break the line. 
Yeah, I think he's giving it up now. He seems to have gotten tired. He's just caving in on us here. Okay, let's take the camera out. Scoop him up. Okay, he is pretty good size, all right. 26.33 pounds. 179, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now there's a mirror carp right there. Let's see if he'll go for this as well. Yeah, I just broke my record for the grass carp. I got one that was over 44 pounds. Okay, it sounds like we got one on one of the other lines here. Let's go ahead and get out and check, see which one it is. It's this one. So we'll bring that one in and we'll see what we got on this one. This is a, this one's been really heavily built up. This is a very heavy rod, heavy reel, everything, line as well. So we should have no trouble bringing whatever's on this in. Yeah, it's just coming. But yeah, like a lot of games, you still have to grind. Do the grind. You have to get the money. You have to catch the fish. And this is probably one of the best places to start. We're going to take a look at each of the places. Looks like we got us a nice mirror carp there. 91 dollars worth, 13 pounds. Not too bad. Two little bait in the feeder. Okay, well, I'm going to have to fix that then. Yeah, you got to go back down here to get the feeder baits. I'm going to buy more of that. Should be good to get it going here. Get our other rod back out. See if there's anything in the vicinity. Doesn't look like it. Oh wow, there we go. We got him, and he's a big fella. Come on. Gotta play around with the tension here a little bit. He's turning, or starting to turn anyway. There he goes. Well, just when I think of getting him to turn, he makes a run for it. Okay, I think he's starting to get tired now. There we go. Yeah, he's getting tired. We're just going to have to do this in short bursts.
Yeah, we definitely don't want to lose him. Not sure how big he is, but he looks pretty good size from this camera angle. There's another big one down there. All right, we've got him. Whoa, new record. 61.96 pounds. $399. <laughs> yeah, I think we're getting a picture of him. He is a monster. That's my best record so far. There, there's some cash. <laughs> Let's get it out there. See if we can't get us another big something or other. Yeah, but like I said, the only thing that's in here is mirror carp. As far as big, big fish and grass carp. I don't think the catfish get that big here. But in some of these lakes, there's also pike but they're going to be strictly for lure fishing and I don't they just don't seem to bring in as much money as these carp do or the well actually just these carp <laughs> oh, sounds like we got another one on one of the feeder rods here we go Yeah, I'm not sure, but I don't think this one's that big. This is probably a bream or a crucian carp. Or a very small mirror carp. I think it's a bream. Yep, it is a bream. It's a nice bream, but yeah, they don't bring in quite as much cash as some of the others, but he's a decent size one. He's over seven pounds. All right, toss this one back out there. What did it say? Two little bait and feeder. Hold on, let me check what they're talking about. Well, it looks like there's enough bait in the feeder. Maybe I need a different feeder. Well, let's let's see. I've got this one. Eight units per minute. Let's see. Yeah, I think I might want to change my feeder because some of these go through the feeder the feeder bait a lot quicker. Now it would probably be worth it to pay a little bit more for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Then we're gonna go back down to the feeder baits and grab some more of this. Equip it, and that should that should do us. That should that should help. So let's see what we can do here. What? No hook or lure? Oh, I bet you anything it took it off when I did that. Let's see. Yeah, must have, must have. Dang on it. All right, let's stick with the. Four out here, and we got to put our. F no, we don't need a float. All right, I think we've got it all okay. Let's go ahead and resume, and we'll toss that back out there and see if that doesn't improve things a little bit. Now we got our float rod and continue to fish that way. A 
along with the two feeders. Yeah, I like to fish with this because primarily I like to have something to do instead of just sitting there watching the rods and waiting them for them to do something. So this way at least I've got a little bit of activity going on and I can watch the fish swim by and sit there and tell them to try to come bite the hook, you know, that kind of thing. You can even wiggle the hook a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we got one on one of these. It's this one. Ooh. Okay. Let's take it down a little bit. He is big. Yeah, he's big. He's really, really big. Cautiously take the tension up and try to nudge him this way. Once we get the right tension to where he's... What is it? This is a big fish. Okay, we've got to turn him around though. I think... No, he's still taking the line out. That guy. Come on, big guy. This is going to be, this is going to, yep, see, he got off the hook. Even with this bigger rod and this heavier line, they still managed to do it. So, it's not foolproof, guys. Just because you got a little heavier gear, you're going to have to fight for it. Until you get much further in this game and you can buy the bigger rods. You might lose one now and then. That's not that's that's okay. It happens. It's not like you lose your hook and your bait. Everything's still where it's supposed to be, so that's a little bit different. <sighs> Alright, let's see here. Let's get this one back in our hand. Oh. So we're already getting one off of this one. Didn't even get a chance to. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm thinking. Yeah, we're gonna be able to get him in. He's not as big. Probably another bream or a small carp. Yeah, they're not going to all be the big ones. Yep, he's a small grass carp. So he didn't bring in as much, but... Alright, that's good. Now, I was just basically saying any time it runs out, it refills the feeder. But if I have that new feeder on there, it should be using less of it. So, Alright, let's toss this sucker out there. We need to get another big grass carp. That, that would bring in some cash. Yeah, if you're going to use these feeder rods, if you throw some um, cut bait on there, you're going to get the the catfish with that. But the only problem is they don't seem to bring in a whole lot of money. They don't come as big here. I really wish they did. Oh, here we go. Nice big mirror carp. Nice. Nice big old fella here. 
Yeah, he is. He's a hefty guy. Like I said, that last one brought $399. I mean, can't beat that with a stick. Okay, he is still taking the line out, so... Can't turn him around just yet. Okay, he's starting to turn. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Come on. Give it up, big guy. You know you're getting tired. God, he is really... He's not giving it up too easy. Just keep tapping that tension. Okay, he's starting to turn. He's starting to turn. He's not... Okay, let's try the tension a little more. He doesn't seem to be gaining as much ground. He's losing ground. Alright, there we go. Just gotta be patient. Yeah, he's getting tired. He's getting tired. Got to watch that, watch that tension, guys. You got plenty of time to get him in. Big old fella, there we go. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Oh man. Oh wowzers. I mean, holy crap. 105.91 <coughs> pounds. $638 just this one fish all by him his lonesome. He fills up the whole screen, guys. Jeez. Yeah, I think we're going to sell him new record. Jeez, one fish, guys. One, one fish. Well, guys, as you can see, <laughs> that is a good way to get money early on. So once you get your gear up to a certain point, you can just do this. And do this for hours and get as much cash as you can to so you can get the better gear. But anyway guys, I will be showing you in the next episode the best fish for the next particular lake. But I'm going to leave that up for a surprise when it comes. But anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you in the next episode. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye bye.